Hey, this is Garrett from Macetech.com. I thought you might want to check out the hat I made for New Year's. So if you know me, you know a hat's just not going to color cycle. So uh, I'll go through some of the modes the hat has and turn on some music because some of these modes are auto reactive. So, how did I do it? I've been experimenting with these WS2811 LED strips. So, I had these on hand. They're really cool. Just have the controller embedded inside the LED. So, you get a whole bunch of addressable LEDs on a single strip. And no external components other than a capacitor and only one data wire. So, I attached a whole bunch of these to a hat with hot glue, nylon webbing, and just try to get them evenly spaced as possible. I was kind of doing this on a on a short timeline, but ran the wires down a piece of paracord. Just take the inner strings out and, and put the wires in instead. You get end up with a nice cloth covered wire. And that's over to my 3D printed Arduino box. It's kind of a bad 3D print, but it works. It has some Velcro to attach it to your belt, which is the style at the time. So. There's a shift bright shield in there with an MSG EQ7 circuit with a microphone preamp and an electric, electric microphone. And that does some frequency analysis. So you get seven bands of uh, incoming sound that you can analyze and, and uh, to use for effects. So power comes in through a cutoff USB cable. And I really like using these because just plug them into one of these rechargeable USB power packs and you get a lot of power at a, a pretty steady 5 volts so they're really handy. So I mean that's the whole system, it was fun, it worked and uh, really easy to do. Yeah.